Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am in Albania currently and in this lovely little hotel. The weather is really bad, it's raining and uh, I thought I'm gonna make a video about something that a lot of you have been asking about and that is my pack list and my luggage setup. The Honda is standing here out in the rain, maybe that will <laughs> wash her a little bit because she's in, an, in the need of a bit of cleaning. Uh, and up here I have gathered all my luggage. I recently changed my luggage setup to Giant Loop. This is all of it. And this gear here is uh, what I bring on my now one year travel. So um, let's go through it and see what am I bringing in order to have my home on my bike for one year. A little info is that I camp quite a lot and this month I've been camping maybe 95% of the days but then sometimes it's nice to get a really shower, to do some laundry, to be sleeping in a nice bed and um, as I ride here in Scooter in Albania where I am right now I really liked it, I like this hotel, it's so nice, it's so chill. And I just thought that hey I'm gonna stay a few days, it's gonna rain, now I've been here for five days and I will probably leave tomorrow. We'll see. I never know. Anyways, let's get back to the packing. I'm gonna take one bag at the time and explain what's in it and how I fit it on the bike. First item is the Giant Loop tank bag. I like it a lot because you can just zip it off like this and then you can take it with you and uh, use it as a handbag like that. A nice little feature that I use a lot is this little pocket here. I always keep my hairbands in here and I keep my uh, lip balm, which I use all the time. Another thing that I like is that the bag has this little shape here that leaves space for the tank cap. And also, as you see here, there is a little um, opening here that allows for charging cables. And that's super cool because then it means you can close the zippers totally and uh, keep it waterproof while riding. So inside here in the top is my Garmin GPS. I will put it on the bike while riding, of course. And then you have the giant loop little, oh, what do they call it? They have a name for these bags and I love them because first of all, it's an extra insurance that it will stay waterproof, but it's also really easy to bring with you as a little handbag. In the top here, in the lid, I keep my Honda manual and my warranty folder and a few other papers in a little plastic bag. Under this one, I have an extra mobile holder, my power bank that I charge while riding. And then you will see that here, there is a little optional organizing pocket that you can take out if you don't want it. And in here, I keep earplugs, antihistamine, should I get a bee sting, then it's nice to know that I have some antihistamine nearby. I also have a little charging thingy for my for my 12 volt uh, cigarette light charger. I have a lighter and then I have my uh, autopilot from time to ride, which is absolutely amazing. Super cheap, super simple and works so well. Inside here I have uh, most important thing when you are on an adventure ride, of course, is toilet paper. <laughs> then I have wet wipes, same category, face mask, some mosquito spray. I keep my um, headlamp in here if I'm camping. This is one of the first things that I will uh, take out of the tank bag and put on my head. Then I keep my Leatherman knife in here, a little pepper spray. I keep it next to me when I camp alone at night. A little charger here for batteries for my action camera. Some extra batteries for my headlamp and spot satellite safety device. Some uh, mosquito bite um, balm and a little charger. Let's say I go to a cafe and I want to uh, charge my phone, uh, then it's nice to just have this handy. A little cloth to, to clean my glasses. That is all that I keep in my tank bag. It's never really full, which is nice because if I'm going on longer stretches where I won't have any water, then I will also put a bottle of water in here. Or if uh, I have a little bit of extra food or something, snacks, 
I would put them in here. So there's there's lots of space for that. And this is the Diablo tank bag from Giant Loop. Before I had the Fandango, the old version, and I just really, really like this smaller one because it's comfortable when I'm standing on the bike. The next two items are the pockets that fit on the on the harness that comes with the tank bag. So it's two pretty small pockets, but they're really nice because you can fit uh, some of the things that you use on a daily basis. You can fit them up in front and also you, means you can bring a little bit of weight uh, forward. So let's see what I have in here. One thing to note about this is that the, the zipper is waterproof but you can't close it 100%. So if you go to a river crossing or you have really heavy rain, you will have a little bit of rain coming in through here, the end of the zipper. So in here I always have a few extra bags or trash or something like that. Then I have my tire pressure gauge, a bottle of water, a deodorizer for my boots because they stink so badly. I have a little cloth for cleaning and then I have actually just a lot of uh, zip ties. In the other one I keep another bottle of water and my chain loop. That's it. So easy to get to. And like that. Let's move on to the Mototrek panniers. In one bag I have everything I need for camping in terms of tent, sleeping mattress, a tarp, sleeping bag and in the other one I keep all my cooking gear. So my Trankia cooking set, food and as you see right now I don't have so much in it it's simply because I kind of ran out of food. On top here of the bags I will keep water and I found out that it's really brilliant with the two straps here because the water bottles won't, won't fall off. So once they're on the bike and I strap them really hard, then I can keep a big water bottle here, a big water bottle here, and I'm good to go. All right, let's move into this big one with all my camping gear and see what did I bring for camping. First item, of course my first aid kit. Uh, I keep it on top of my gear so that it's easy accessible at all times. Next item is my Thermarest Neo Air sleeping mattress. Then I have an extra spare tube, the poles for my tent. I keep them separately because then I can put them in right where uh, I need them to be. Then I have my sleeping bag. It's a Sea to Summit Trek TK Ultra Dry Down. It's called 650 Plus Loft and it keeps me warm down to 6 degrees. Then I have my small tent packs. I have these lightweight packs that are really strong and they weigh absolutely nothing. An extra set of winter gloves that are waterproof. A tarp with lines. I think I have six lines on them that I can use for other things as well. And then I have my tent. It is a Fjellreven Abisko View 2. So it's a two-person tent and it means that I can fit both myself and all my gear inside uh, in case it's raining. That is all that I keep in my one pannier. So here you see it all. Winter gloves, spare tube, sleeping mattress, tarp, first aid gear, tent packs, tent poles, sleeping bag, and my tent. And here in the possible pouch on the back, I keep the stuff that I use for my action cameras. Here I have a selfie stick, a foot that I can put on the selfie stick. And I have uh, all kinds of accessories, remote control, holders for mobile, stuff like that. And then I have a few extra straps. These are MPV straps from the Danish military. I absolutely love them. If you can ever get your fingers of any of these used, buy them. They're cheap and they will last forever. That's what I have in this one. So yes, one side of the bike. All right, let's move on to the other pannier. So besides here on top having a big bottle of water, this is where I keep my food, cooking and dining utensils. It's also where I keep something that I'd like to have quickly accessible, like at the moment because it's really warm. I like to keep my swimsuit close and I also like to keep my drone really close so that I can quickly take it out and do some footage and then move on. 
I also keep my camping towel here and my camping towel is pretty cool because it also functions as a um, little mini dress with a hoodie so that I can just put it on and carry it around let's say I've been swimming somewhere and I don't want to put on my normal clothes yet but I just want to walk around then this is really cool it's lightweight and it doesn't take up a lot of space and it's of course one of these uh, fast drying towels and I keep a little backpack in here it's waterproof lightweight it's nice to have if I go shopping somewhere or if maybe I go on a ride one day without my luggage then I can keep maybe some food or a warm sweater, whatever, a swimming clothes or something, I can put that in here. Uh, then I keep uh, an extra water bladder from Ortlieb in case I'm going places where I need to carry a lot of extra water. Then I keep my water filtering system in here. It's from Sawyer. I have two of these bags because they will break after a while. I've already thrown away two bags and the filter is really lightweight. It doesn't take up a lot of space, but it's practical, particularly if you want to avoid uh, buying food, then I find this is really cool. At the moment, I don't really have much food. I just went through all my reserve food and just ate everything to refresh it. But I will normally keep all my food in uh, one of these waterproof bags from uh, Asevik. It's easy to carry around. It's maybe a little bit more hygienic than having it uh, in the bag. Also, I can wash them afterwards. And if something should break in there, let's say I have a container jar or something of uh, pesto and it breaks in the bag, it's nice to know that it hopefully will stay in here. Then I have a dining kit. It's from Wildo. Small, compact. I um, have a knife and fork. I also have from Trankia, one of their little practical spoon and fork. Then I have a bag with a little flask here with dish soap and one with oil for cooking. A lighter, my folding cup. It's called folder cup. In that one I have a little container for salt and stuff. So all really very compact. And I like this one because it also kind of functions a little bit as a guard for uh, the next item I will take out, which is my uh, air filter. Um, so I keep it next to it because obviously if I go down with the bike, I really want to avoid damaging my air filter. So I'm very, very cautious with how I put this one into the bag. Then there's my Trankier little uh, 27 set, which is the... Uh, I think it's the second smallest that they have. It's perfect for one person. It can even cook for two persons. In here, I have two pots, one pan, uh, one kettle, the base for the uh, and the cooker. So yeah, it's really compact. And I have a little container here with some extra spare parts. I have a um, spark plug, a little plastic bag here with some uh, grease, and then I have an extra oil filter. A bag with some new bread pads. I have a bag of pasta, basically more or less the only food besides this onion and some coffee that I carry right now. <laughs> and then I have a spray can VD40 and I have a little repair set for my Thermarest sleeping mattress. So that is all that I carry in the other pannier. And normally there would be quite a bit of food as well. That would normally be soups. Uh, usually carry a few carrots of tuna just as extra food and then whatever I'm planning to eat that day so that I, that can be some bread or some cheese or bread whatever Iva which is lovely here in Balkan um, so yeah whatever I'm planning on eating today I will carry in here so this is pretty much everything I carry in the second pannier all lined up here drone Swim, clothes, towel, spare parts, food, cooking gear, dining gear, uh, and an extra backpack. I forgot to mention one thing, which is my medicine. So this is my little medicine cabinet. I have painkillers, something for the stomach, some alcohol to clean, some trio, a little bit of everything. Then in the little possibles pouch here on the back, I keep a bottle with the alcohol for my Tranquia burner. I keep a, a luggage net that I can put over my top roll bag in case I need to carry something extra for yeah whatever 
it's really practical it doesn't take up a lot of space or weight so I keep this bag on the right side of the bike because um, it is a little bit higher and it means it's easy for me when I want to fly the drone then it's it's high up and it's just easy to get out or if I want to eat something standing next to the road then I like to have the high side of the bike uh, with, with the food and, and the swimming swimming stuff and, uh, and my um, drone. So the third big item on the bike is the top roll bag and this one is called uh, Tillamook from uh, Giant Loop and it's a little bit cool because it has two openings um, and um, also here on top it has like um, ventilation so when you have packed everything you can open this one and then you can push out the air and close it again. In the beginning I was struggling a little bit with the two openings but now I have found a little way to deal with it. I have put a little one here that means on this side goes toiletries and then over here goes my electronics. Let's start with the toiletry side. First item here is my toiletries. The zipper has broken. It's it's a nice bag from sea to summit. Lightweight and I can hang it up in the, in the bathroom. Um, it has separate pockets so I can keep things separate from each other. It has a pocket here as well and it weighs absolutely nothing. I really like it but the zipper is crap unfortunately. Then I have my makeup and I have a little waterproof bag from Asivik with my underwear, socks, bra, panties and then I have a sea to summit. It's actually a, a stream pump sack that you, you can pump your air mattress with but I use it for my clothes and so I put my clothes in, I uh, compress it and then close it and then it stay compressed uh, afterwards. The problem is now it's actually uh, beginning to rip because you know I stuff all kinds of things next to it so it's been taking a, a beating but it's a really really cool thing and uh, I patched it up over here so I think I can just patch it up again here but I'm beginning to wonder if it's really worth it to to do it anymore. Anyways the concept works pretty well. I like the fact that there's a handle as well. If I want to remove more air, there's this. If I had a Sea to Summit sleeping mattress, uh, it would be really smart because then I would have dual purpose. I have that already because I also use it for my pillow, like that. Next item is my computer. Uh, I have it in this Aqua Quest uh, waterproof bag. And I like that I can take my computer out and bring it with me. Besides my computer, I also have some of my papers. The computer is in this little sleeve that comes with the AquaQuest bag here. And then uh, I just have a few plastic folders with some extra copies of my paper. I have my international driver's license that I rarely use. A pair of shoes. Normally I keep each shoe in a little plastic bag, rain jacket, and then I have another one of the tank bag dry pots from Giant Loop. This is from my old tank bag that I use for all my electrical stuff. So it's my memory cards, it's an adapter, charger cables, just all kinds of electrical stuff. It's not too much. Um, and that I keep in the other end so that I can easily take this out. That's everything in the big top roll bag. So here is all the stuff that I keep in the Tillamook roll bag with the two openings. It's my computer, shoes, electronic, the toiletries, makeup, underwear, rain jacket and my clothes. Something that's worth mentioning about the top roll bag and how you pack it is to try and put your electronics in the top. So my computer is the last thing that I have up here. And I learned that a little bit the hard way because uh, one day I had it in the bottom, meaning that it was the first thing that was against the bike. And I was going on a dirt road that day. And when I hit a pothole, I actually uh, broke the screen on the computer. So the computer is still working, so it's fine. I was lucky, I think. So. From now on, I always keep the computer in the top.
Oh nice, it stopped raining and Honey is almost looking clean now. Maybe I should give her a little bit of soap just to get that last bit of mud off her. We only have two items left and that is my tool bags. One bag here, an Asivik two liter bag where I keep all my main tools and them I put in a fuel tube down here in front of the skip plate of the bike. The other bag is sitting here in the front fender and that one I reserve for tools that I need to fix a flat. So let's start with the tools for fixing a flat. I really like this bag. First of all, it's waterproof. Um, and then I like the buckles that is uh, attached to the front fender. The bag I had before was also really, really nice uh, from Enduristan, but it had a strap that went around on the, on the bottom side of the front fender. And a few times when I was uh, hitting a deep pothole, then actually the wheel would go against uh, that strap. So I think this is just a little bit of a smarter system somehow. First of all, I have a trail stand. Then I have a set of Motion Pro speed breakers and uh, levers. They're lightweight and really cool. I think it's made of aluminium. Uh, another lever uh, that also have a wrench in the rear end. And I bought it in size 24 because that fits my rear axle. And in order to take off the front axle, I have uh, an adapter here, which is um, also from Motion Pro, this one. And for that, I have a top size 14, I think it is. Yes, 14 millimeter. Um, that will take off the front axle. A bicycle pump. I don't have an el electrical pump, uh, just simply to, to save space and weight. Uh, then I have a little screwdriver here to remove the valve. A beautiful, beautiful valve core puller. It's the best tool in the world. Costs nothing, takes no space, weighs nothing. And you will love it. A kit for repairing uh, a flat. And also in here I keep uh, four extra valves. And then I have a little extra uh, link for my chain. So this is uh, the kind of crocodile style link. Then I have a few sachets of Moroccan hammam soap. And this is really cool for uh, lubrication for changing the tire. Some fuses. See what else is there in here? Oh, there's more valves. I had a few more than I thought. <laughs> and then in here I have an extra light bulb for my indicators. It all fits in here. It doesn't weigh a lot. Everything is super lightweight. I think this is like 50 gram. Well, the only thing heavy basically is the trail stand. I can easily keep it in the front fender bag. So these are the tools that I carry in my front fender bag. Fuses, extra valves, lubrication, a repair kit, glue for repair kit, extra link for my chain, light bulb, and tools for changing tire. All right, we just have one bag left. Let's do it. So I keep all the tools in this waterproof bag in my tool tube in front of the skip plate. And inside here I have two bags, one with the major tools and one with all the tops and the bits. The centerpiece of my toolkit is this T-handle with the right amount of uh, adapters and top sizes. I can do almost everything on the bike with this one. Uh, but of course I do need some wrenches sometimes, so I have a 10mm uh, wrench. 8 millimeter wrench, a 12 and a 14. Besides that I also have a 17 uh, which I need in order to take the rear sprocket off and on. A tweezer which I have never used, maybe I should get rid of it. I have uh, this one here, I totally forgot right now what you call it in English. A toothbrush if I need to clean anything and Extension here to the T-handle, two different sizes, uh, hex uh, thingies here that I was missing, so I just added them to my kit. And then I have a tiny screwdriver, which I can use for my glasses, or uh, I also use it for the trail stand to put it in, in the height that I need. Uh, another shorter extension to the T-handle. Might get rid of this one because I've never used it. Well, that is my tools. The next important part is of course all the tops and the bits. 
and there I have um, brought all the bits that I need for the Honda. So um, there's nothing in here that doesn't fit, fit the bike. And this one here is important because it's an adapter that I can use for the T-handle. Put bits in there. So I will put that on like that. And then I will put a screwdriver bit in there. So it means I don't need to carry any screwdrivers and stuff like that. So here are all the tops and bits that have all been selected because they are needed for the Honda and for whatever aftermarket parts that I have put on the bike and then I have a roll of electrical tape as well. So these two small bags is all I need to fix the bike. Obviously I can't do a valve adjustment or stuff like that with the, these tools but I can do pretty much everything else. Alright guys, the sun is out. It's time to put on the bags. I am getting the bike ready to go up to Teth uh, in northern Albania. It's a beautiful national park and I'm so excited about it. So let's get those bags on and see how it looks with everything on. guys all the bags are now on my Honda and uh, everything is tight and nice my possibles pouches my top roll bag I can just compress a little bit of air like that I have my charger plugged in and everything is nice and ready to go and it's already really really hot i'm sweating like crazy it's not even 9 30 in the morning and uh, it's albania in august so it's gonna be nice to get on the road and get some wind in my hair so thanks a lot for watching subscribe if you want to see future videos that i upload and uh, otherwise see you out there on the road